Now, every card needs an envelope and we can create all of the matching envelopes on the underside of the Ultimate Pro. Now for the envelope making, we're going to use the very, very small head embossing tool to give a fine precision emboss. Now we can make either regular envelopes or for cards such as this one here that are a little bit thicker, we can make a three-dimensional box envelope. Now all of the instructions are explained in detail in the book. And what you'll find is you get full guidelines for all of your standard size cards. You also get special guidelines on the previous page which talk you through how to make custom size envelopes for new and unusual shaped cards. Now for this card here, I can reference the standard size against the size that we have in the book and it tells me exactly what paper size and which lines I need to use. So I've cut my paper to size accordingly and I'm going to position it in place right in the very, very corner of the board like this. And the first line it told me to use was line C. So we start with C at the base and follow the line upwards. For a regular envelope, that's all you need to do. For the three-dimensional box envelope, you'll see that we've got the small little nook just here. And we can sit the paper back in there and emboss the same line a second time. Now you need to do the same line on opposite corners. So I'm repeating the C line into the little notch and C again. And then on the opposite corner we do the other lines, which in this example was E. And then in the corners we simply cut out the pieces that we don't need to use. And this will help the envelope fall together perfectly. Now because we've used the precision embossing tool, you'll see that these lines will fall into place perfectly and really find their way to give a crisp professional edging to the box. Then to stick everything together, we just use a small amount of double-sided tape and we're just going to stick down the two inside edges of the envelope and a little bit on the top. And when we release the backing, the envelope will fall together perfectly and the small flap will simply tuck under into place. Now what you'll find is that envelope will be the absolute perfect size to fit the card that we've just made. And to add a finishing touch, we can use the decorative embossing on the board, sit this into place and follow the embossed shape. And it really does add a very, very professional finishing touch. So that is the envelope making. Inside the board, you'll see that as well as having the special tools and the instruction book, you will also find the cutter. Now the cutter clips into place in the centre of the board and hinges at one end. It will actually fit both ways into the board depending on your cutting preferences. Now if we take a piece of cardstock, sit it under the ruler, the cutting mouse sits in place in the ruler and you pull towards you. You've got all of your measurements in both inches and centimetres on two axes. And the special little cutting mouse opens up to house a standard size blade, which can very easily be replaced. These tools all sit in place in the storage compartment. And in here, you will also find the small pegs. And these are for doing your bow making. Now, on the top side of the board, you'll see that we've got a selection of different holes. Depending on the size of bow you want to make, we can either do a very, very large bow, a tiny little mini bow, or anything in between. And you need to cut a piece of ribbon. And with this ribbon, we wrap around the pegs and then cross. The piece at the top goes 
underneath, we come back over and simply tie a knot. And if you have many bows to make, this way you will be guaranteed of having a perfect bow every single time. Now if you start with a longer piece of ribbon, we can make a multi-bow. And all we do for the multi-bow is to go around and cross. We come back around a second time and cross, or even a third time if you wish, and cross. And then as with the regular bow, we go under, over, and tie a knot. And this will give you an absolutely perfect triple bow. And you can repeat this procedure as many times as you like with as many pieces of ribbon as you like to make beautiful decorative elements to finish off your cards and boxes. 